Hello, John Fisher. Hope you're all well. Uh, we consider the next line of the Creed, uh, which is the um, Holy Catholic Church. I believe in the Holy Catholic Church. That's why I'm back here in the Church of Holy Trinity. Um, and when we consider the Holy Catholic Church, of course, I'm not really going to talk about the church buildings. Uh, I'm not going to talk about um, the bishops or the cardinals. Uh, because the uh, essential thing about the church is that it's the body of Christ, which is us, which is all the uh, Christian uh, believers. And I think uh, one of the main things uh, I want to talk about just briefly about the church is what Pope Francis has been talking about uh, a lot recently. Pope Francis recently wrote uh, a letter called um, Fratelli Tutti, which means we are all brothers, brothers and sisters. And that's what he's been encouraging us to, uh, to do and think about um, in the church. That is the idea that being uh, members of the church, and the Catholic Church in particular, um, means that we're all a family, basically. We're all a family. As I've mentioned before, we're all brothers and sisters. And one of the consequences of that is um, that the people around me, the people who I live with, the people I work with, the people who I'm at school with, um, none of them, to a Christian, none of them, we can't be indifferent to anybody. So in a normal school, in a secular school, you go to school, you learn, there are people alongside you, some of them might be friends, some not, but for the most part, most of the people who you meet um, will be indifferent to you because, well, they don't really affect you. Uh, what's the person on the other side of the room learning who's not my friend got to do with me? Nothing. Right, so I just ignore them. Christian school is going to be different because uh, we believe that members of the church, but in a way the whole human race, uh, is a big family, the family of God. And so that means that I'm not indifferent to anyone around me. And I think it would be nice if uh, in John Fisher this family spirit would be very strong uh, and very much alive. One of the consequences of that would be uh, that I think about each day, I hope uh, some of you at least uh, pray each day, but to, th to think and pray about um, the people in the school, anybody who might need prayers in particular at this time. So we can think about all those in the school who are struggling in some way. We might know people who are sick, um, people who are undergoing a particular difficulty, um, many of them probably we don't know about a lot of people at school. You know, it could be teachers, could be uh, cleaners, it could be other learners who go about smiling and seem to be very okay. But actually, there's a lot of pain and suffering going on, uh, which we don't know about. So we can think about all of them uh, and how much we can help them with our prayers. Uh, we can think about those who perhaps are feeling stressed because of assessments or exams or whatever. We can think in a particular way about uh, the leavers this year, so year 11s, year 13s, uh, having to perhaps go to a new college or university and how much support they would need. So we can pray about them as well. Uh, so I think to, to live um, the Catholic Church, not just, to, not just as a doctrine, but to, to live it means to see uh, the people around us as important to us. Even if I don't know them, I can still be praying for them. And I think that's uh, the, the way that Pope Francis in particular is asking us to, to live the spirit of the church, which is a spirit family. We pray for everyone, we think about everyone, because nobody's indifferent to us. We care in some sense for everyone, because they're a brother or a sister. Another manifestation is that we also rely on each other. We ask each other for help. Uh, so in that spirit, uh, I've asked um, some friends from St. Thomas More's uh, secondary school in Sheldon, uh, or Longton, somewhere over there, <laughs> um, to help uh, with the video. So um, a sixth former called Daniel has kindly recorded a little short message on the church, which I'll play uh, now. And then uh, next week, um, you won't be hearing from me at all um, because uh, they've sent a, a video along for, uh, for next week. So... Um, it's quite a long video, so I won't comment anything. I'll just show you that video. So here's a little message from Daniel, which I hope you enjoy.
the Holy Catholic Church, we state our beliefs in the Church, the universal body of Christ. The world Church de derived from the Greek meaning what belongs to the Lord. The Church is made up of people all belonging to the Lord. The Church has no light other than Christ's. The Church is holy. After Jesus' death and resurrection, Christ appeared to his disciples and told them that he would be with them until the end of time. Because of this, we can be confident that Christ is with his people, his church, those who belong to the Lord. Jesus, make this church a holy place. The church is Catholic. The word Catholic simply means universal. By saying that the church is Catholic, we are saying that in some sense it is a universal and then so is it open to everyone. Everyone is welcome to the Church of God. Saying the Church is universal doesn't mean that it is the same everywhere. The Church has always embra embraced many excitingly diverse and rich cultural traditions and incorporated them into his life and liturgy. Among the Church members, there were different gifts, offices, conditions and ways of life. So we uh, thank uh, Daniel very much for, for doing that uh, video for us. Not an easy thing to do, but he had the courage to, to go for it. So thank you very much. Uh, and I wish you all a good um, weekend and uh, hope that we can continue to meet. I've met some of you in school, so continue to see some of you in school. So take care, God bless, and uh, praying for all of you, especially for those of you who need prayers at the moment. Let's remember each other in our daily prayers. Take care.